Hi folks, this is all the fruit and this year the pistachio tree in Heidelberg is full of fruits. Well, we had the hottest and driest summer in recorded history this year. So a lot of plants which like mild climate started fruiting. Plants which have been cultivated around here for some time but never had fruits. The pistachio, well, it had fruits in previous years, but very few. This year I thought, what a waste, so many fruits and none of them pollinated. And then I bit into one and there was a seed inside. I don't know how, because this is a female tree. Unless somebody has grafted a male branch on it, I don't see how it could be pollinated. However, let's try if I manage to find another pollinated fruit. Well, those are our pistachios in Germany. If you are familiar with pistachios, you will notice that they are kind of small. They look like pistachios, but about half size. So first you have to make sure that it's not something like Pistachia atlantica. A species of wild pistachio with smaller fruits. No, it says Pistachia vera. So let's believe them. It's Pistachia vera. Quite a small plant, but I mean it grows in Germany. And although I read that pistachios actually don't require such a hot climate, they can also uh, grow in quite rough conditions with quite harsh winters, they're still very uncommon in Germany. This is the only tree I know in Heidelberg, and that's why I'm a little bit surprised. I found the kernel inside. Well, what can you do with pistachios? You can, of course, wait till they are ripe and then roast them. You can also harvest the green or unripe pistachios. They have a lot of uses. Firstly, you can eat the fruit surrounding the kernel. Mm -hmm. A pleasant tannic sourness. Tastes a bit like an unripe plum you. Let's try a slightly more ripe one. Mm. Nothing special at all, but nothing special. I wonder if this sap here is dangerous. This stuff is related to poison ivy and many relatives of poison ivy, including some mangoes, can actually hurt your skin a lot. Now, let's try and crack the seeds. Mm. Maybe first show them to you. Those are the kernels. And when you crack them, for example, there is nothing inside this one. But there is something inside this one. Where does it come from? Can you explain that to me, folks? Maybe the gardeners bought a plant with a male branch grafted to it, but they didn't know it. Look, there's a touch of seat inside. Now let's try it. Hmm. Not much taste to it. The problem is, yeah, those things are half the size of commercial varieties. I guess they got some very frost hardy pistachio here, but not a commercial variety. Hmm. You see, green pistachios can be bitter. but also sweet and tangy. Mm. Mm. I'm eating the fruit right now. There is a pistachio seed in here. I remember when I ate the ripe pistachio Atlantica. They were basically the same size and tasted like salted pistachios because they were growing just a few kilometers from the sea. Mm. Does it? Mm. Uh, honestly, cannot taste much. 
Ja. Dann möchte ich sagen, sie doch nicht. Und was ist das noch dafür? Typical taste like a unripe walnut or unripe hazelnut or unripe almond. Quite a good harvest, but why are they so small? If they were bigger, maybe I could better taste them, but with those tiny amounts, it's hard to taste them. There are hundreds, maybe one or two hundred fruits on this small tree, which is not growing in the best conditions here, but it's a small botanic garden. Also, the fig is growing in very shady conditions, but it has, still has very good fruits. Yeah, so I can tell you about the taste of the of the fruit itself. Maybe in a day or two I can tell you about the effect of the sap from the inflorescence. If my skin starts burning. Hmm. But the seed itself, hmm. yeah, this one has a seed too. But no, no particular taste to it. So, folks, can you tell me how this thing is fruiting? It has pollinated fruits. Maybe next year I should look very closely for a male branch with male flowers on the stream. Can you also tell me why they are so small here? Is this something wild or is it not being cultivated properly? Also, can you tell me why they are not tasting so strongly? I don't taste much. Hmm. Yeah, strange. Yeah. Tell me anything you know about the pistachio tree. Actually, I, I have a plan to start a small pistachio plantation here in Germany, so give me all your advices. Apart from that, stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful botanic garden of Heidelberg in Germany. But if you don't want to miss any of my videos, it's not enough to subscribe. You also need to press the little bell icon.